Hey guys, NFB here, and the video on screen was uploaded October 26, 2012. And the reason why I'm bringing this up here on screen is because I got a recent comment from this video and I kind of want to discuss a little bit more on here. So it's kind of like an update to this video. I mean, it is 2021 now and we know a lot more about Rare now over the years. So my most recent comment, uh, someone commented me, who killed Rare? Question mark. And this was just a month ago, actually. So I do apologize for getting not replying so soon. But here we are in 2021 and people still don't realize what exactly killed Rare. I mean, they're still here, right? Um, just recent, just recently, they're actually starting to do a lot better uh, with, um, you know, Sea of Thieves is obviously doing really good for Microsoft. But other than that, I can't really say much for Rare. I, I really cannot say a whole lot. I mean, back in the day when they were with Nintendo, and when you got Battletoads, you got games like um, Wizards and Warriors, we had Donkey Kong Country, we had, um, and obviously Nintendo, they don't hand over their IPs to just anybody. They don't just hand it over. Donkey Kong Country was a smart move, uh, excuse me, Donkey Kong was a smart move by Nintendo to uh, release it to Rare and have them uh, do something with it. You know, they were trying to bring back the franchise because prior to that, there had not been any Donkey Kong games since the 80s. So Donkey Kong Country was born and it was so different than anything. Uh, the te not, not just gameplay wise, but the technology that they brought on the Super Nintendo Silicon Graphics were being used, which Silicon Graphics was then later on utilized with Nintendo 64. And one thing I did not mention on the video from 2012, which I didn't even think of, but I was aware of this, my subscribers were telling me, was the musical talent, the, the soundtracks to all these games. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I do believe David Wise and Grant Kirkhope are responsible for the majority of the music from back in the days. I don't know if they're still involved right now, to be honest. I haven't played any of the newer games, such as uh, Sea of Thieves or even the new Battletoads, which I haven't heard good things about it. I think a lot of people were left disappointed on the new Battletoads. So, what I'm, and overall, to answer the question uh, that, that the person left me in the comments, who killed Rare? No, I'm, I still stand by what I've said in the past, what I've always have concluded to is that Microsoft did. How? Well, they didn't really do anything with them. They didn't, um, they didn't do what Nintendo did. Nintendo pretty much gave them unlimited resources. Nintendo handed them, let them gamble with their IPs. And I think Microsoft was more of a, more strict. And they uh, already had these IPs such as Perfect Dark, uh, Camillo, uh, you know, Viva Piñata and stuff like that came out later on. And they had Battletoads, you know, they had all these IPs they could play with, established IPs. They, they were established. So they were well known. And um, a lot of the, the, the people involved, and I'm not speaking for them, I don't know for sure, but I would have to assume that they just didn't like the way things were being run. So, you know, they split and went off their own ways. You know, they did their own thing. And so you don't have that original talent, the original crew, the original team there at Rare anymore. So, uh, but good things came because of that. I mean, we got Time Splitters. That's the one that sticks out the most for me is Time Splitters. And I know there's tons of other games that I can't even think of right now that these teams developed later on you know they 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 formed free radical design and again they were responsible for time splitters if you play time splitters you can it feels you can you can tell that it's the same people that made golden eye and perfect dark it just feels so much like it all right guys let me know what you guys think down
All right, so this comes directly from Rare's website. It's just a recap, 35-year recap. Uh, established in 1985 to focus on the expanding console market, we partnered with Nintendo and quickly sealed a reputation for, of quality, or for quality, uh, with titles including Battletoads, Donkey Kong Country, and GoldenEye. They should have threw in a perfect dark in there. Uh, the acquisition of Rare by Microsoft Game Studios came about in 20... I was going to say 2002 in 2002 after a colossally successful run of titles through the 1990s we went to support the xbox 360 debut with two of the three launch games cameo element of powers and perfect dark zero subsequent years new uh, saw us innovate with banjo kazooie nuts and bolts the addictive viva pinata franchise and pioneering work on the xbox 360 avatars which came from the Mies, right Anyways, um, in more recent years, our, inv our investigations into cutting edge motion control resulted in the multi million selling double BAFTA winning Connect Sports series, uh, with development now firmly established for Xbox One and Windows 10. We're still hardworking here in our custom built English countryside headquarters. Gal galvanized by the opportunity to celebrate our heritage with the Rare Replay Anniversary Collection, we followed up with the most ambitious undertaking to date, creating a world of legendary pirate adventure for players to tackle together in a sea of thieves. Then came X-19 in London and the unveiling of Rare's very latest world of wonder, Everwild. With Everwild underway, Sea of Thieves receiving regular post-launch content updates and much more still to come from Rare, Here's to another productive few decades. And the most recent project I've heard from Rare, other than Everwild, uh, is Killer Instinct. I do believe they're, they're wanting to make another Killer Instinct. So um, I have played their version of Microsoft's Killer Instinct, and I got to say, I, I, I enjoy it. I do like it. So, um, but there you have it, guys. Uh, just... Uh, you know, I, I'm not saying that Rare is a bad company. They're, they're, what I am saying is that they're not anything close to what they were before. When it comes to, um, you know, they were releasing hits after hits after hits. I am not joking or exaggerating. You don't see that no more. You don't see that anymore. So uh, what do you guys think? Do you guys agree or disagree with me? Uh, I have a feeling I'll be coming back to this subject again in the future. So, all right, guys, NFB out. I'll catch you guys on the next one. And as always, game on.